Hey, it's Kartik here. Um, I've decided that due to a lot of positive feedback from a tutorial I did a while ago on Java programming, I decided that I'm going to try doing a couple more of these and see how they turn out. And if you guys like them, I'll do even more. What I want to talk about today is Java object oriented programming. And basically all we're really going to do in this is just create a simple class and what's called a driver class. And I want to explain what all these mean in just a second. So the first thing that we're going to start with is we are going to write a class called dog. So I'm going to write public class dog, open brace. All this does right over here is that it says that this file is going to be called dog. This is what we're describing right now. It's just wrong with me so far. All right, we're going to save this. Make sure that you save this in the same I mean, sort of the same way that I am. Make sure you have a folder and you remember the name of the folder, remember the name of the file. It's all very important. We're going to save this as dog.java. Save. All right. And by the way, what I'm using right now is uh, Sublime Text. It's free. It's pretty darn good. I'd recommend it. If you want to use an actual Java compiler, go for it. There's NetBeans, there's Eclipse, there's a lot of options. But if you want to take it nice and simple, then Sublime Text does it for you. So, after we have this first header part written, we're going to start putting in what are called parameter or parameters or uh, instance variables. And what these are are basically properties of the class that you're writing. So if we think about a dog, there are many, many things about a dog that you can describe. Things like its fur color, its name, the sound it makes when it barks, or its eye color or its age. So we're just going to go ahead and list these and I'm going to hope that you guys already know Java primitives and what those kind of variables are. We're just going to skip past that part. Um, so the fur color and the name and the noise it makes, the bark noise, these would all be strings because those can best be represented by strings. So we're going to write string, um, bark, fur color, and we'll throw and. Um, bark, fur color, and eye color. After that, we're going to also add in the age as an integer, int age. Now, so far, what we have here is a class that represents a dog, and all we know about it are these properties. But these properties aren't set to anything, cannot be set to anything, and honestly, you can't even create a dog right now. This is, if you think about this class as being like a blueprint, it's kind of just all you have right now is the at the top you've written that this is going to be a dog and then in it you've said these are the ingredients you need. You need to have a bark, you need to have a fur color, you need to have an eye color, and you have to have an age. So that's all you've got so far is this is the stuff that we need. But you haven't told anyone how do I put this dog together? How do I, what can this dog even do? It's just sort of there. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to write the part of the code that tells people this is how you actually put the dog together. Therefore, this part of the code is called the constructor. I'm going to write, oh, by the way, oops, sorry, private. So you want to write, oh my, you want to write private over here. For now, don't worry about it. If you know what it means, then good for you. If you don't yet, don't worry about it. Just know instance variables, parameters, always private. What we're going to write here is the constructor now. So I'm going to write public dog, parentheses, open brace, close brace. All right. That is the instructions on how to make a dog. Obviously, it's empty right now, so let's write something in there. I'm going to set bark equal to woof. We'll set fur color to blonde. And we'll set eye color to blue. And then we'll set the age to 5. So now that we've got this set, we know that we can take, we can take a dog Sorry, excuse me. We know that a dog needs a bark, fur color, eye color, age. To make this dog, all we have to do is make the bark equal to woof, we have to make the fur color blonde, and we have to make the eye color blue, and it's age five. Now we can make a dog. We still have a problem though. Because these variables over here are private, that means that although it has these things, no one else can see them except for this dog itself. 
because what we're going to write in second is a driver class and this driver class can be thought of as an actual person a driver a person who is actually going to use this class create this dog but what use is this dog if we don't know anything about it we don't know its bark its fur color its eye color or anything so what we're going to write here are what are called accessor methods these allow you to access its information they, te they tell you things about the dog all you have to write is public string um, woof or sorry I should say public string bark okay let me write the parentheses and then the open brace and the closing brace this right here represents what is going to be returned aka what is the kind of the variable that we're going to get it wouldn't work if I said public int bark because bark is a kind of string so public string bark we are basically going to write return bark all this little piece of code does is it gives you this the variable value of this dog's bark which is always going to be woof so now to test this we're going to start writing a driver class to do that we're going to create a new file we're going to call this public class dog excuse me remember when you do class names they should always be completely capitalized variable names usually work best when they're camel case public class dog driver open brace close brace i'm going to save this in the same place as where we saved the uh, excuse me where we saved the earlier file and we'll make sure you write dot java all right now that we have this, we in here are going to write a little piece of code, which if you know what it means, good for you. If you don't, don't worry about it. Basically, you're always going to need this line of code if you want anything to even happen when you run your files. That is public static void main parentheses string braces args open brace close brace. It's a mouthful, but it is necessary. And essentially, all it really is is this main method, and it has to always be called main, this main method is what is actually executed when this code runs. If we were to just compile these two classes without that method, it would compile and then nothing would happen because we haven't told it to do anything. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a dog by writing dog corgi equals new dog parentheses. All right. We've got a dog. This dog isn't going to do anything because so far all we've done is create it. And just when you have created a dog, it's just going to sit there and then we don't even know if we did it or not. So to prove that we have done it, excuse me, done it, we're going to write system.out.println corgi.bark parentheses. Cool. So system.out.println, if you don't know, basically just tells the and tells Java to write this to the screen. It tells it, it's going to basically write to us what the value of corgi.bark is. And it should be woof because, as you can see here in dog, that's just what we set it to. What's going to happen when this thing runs is basically it's going to create this variable called dog corgi and then it's going to create a new dog object. And when it does that, it opens up the dog class and runs this code over here setting bark equal to woof fur color equal to blonde eye color blue age equal to five done it does all that and then it's going to print this and what this is is its method so it's going to run this method corgi.bark over here and all that's going to do is return a string which means all this is going to do is it's going to print woof let's see if it works i'm going to compile this in terminal this is the easiest most simplest way to do it and it's the way I would recommend doing it so give me a second you basically want to set your uh, directory by hitting CD and then dragging the folder onto it you want to set your directory to where your files are located and then after that write Java C and then go ahead and just drag your two files into terminal hit enter and then if nothing happens, then you're good. Because if you go back here, 
you now have these two, you now have these two new files called dog.class and dogdriver.class. Those are your executable files. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run them using the Java inside the terminal. What we do is write Java dog driver enter wolf. So now we know that we have created a dog and that this dog's variables were set correctly. Now this dog is interesting and all, but so far all we can really do is get things about it. So we can create a dog, but every time we create a dog, it's always going to say woof. It's always going to be blonde, and it's always going to have blue eyes, and it's always going to be five years old, which is kind of boring. So if we wanted to create a dog with our own specifications and wanted to create it to be whatever we want it to be, then we need to create a more specific constructor. To do that, all we do is write public dog, and over here, we're going to write uh, string dog bark string dog fur color and string dog eye color and then int dog age open brace close brace what these are called over here are arguments and this allows you to set them in your driver class, and we're going to do that in just a second. But first, let's finish up this code over here. What we need to do is we need to set the bark and the other variables equal to those arguments. By doing that, we're just going to write bark equals dog bark and fur color equals um, dog fur color, eye color equals oops, dog eye color. And then age equals dog age. All right, now that we've done that, if we go back to our dog driver, we can now in here put in those arguments. And we got to remember what order they are in. So first comes the bark. And let's say this dog makes a yip noise. And then we can say that its fur color is green. And then we can say that its eye color is purple and I'm guessing the last one is age you can say that dog's age is 10. Now that we've done that the expected outcome of this code should be yip because we've set the corgi's bark noise to yip. Let's give this a shot. Going in here we have to recompile because and, uh, my strict to this is you hit up, and then over here you can see it just selects one of the things that you put in previously. Enter, then we write Java dog driver. Yep. As you can see, we now have created a dog with a more specific constructor, and that allows us to set the variables to whatever we want. The last thing that we're going to do for this is create what's called a setter. So this variable over here is called a getter. And all that really does is exactly what the name implies. It, it gets some information about your dog. Now we're going to write something that sets. So say we create a dog, and then for some reason or the other, we need to change something. The dog grows older, and we need to make its age older. So to do that, you write public void set age int dog age. What this public void means is basically, you can see how over here we have public string. That means that we are returning a string. In this case, we're not returning anything. We're setting something, which means that when we set it, we don't want to get anything back. We're just setting the dog's age, and that's that. So here we're going to write uh, age equals dog age. Simple code. All we're doing is we're setting this variable, we're setting, excuse me, we're setting this variable equal to that one. All right, and then if we go back over here, oh, well, we should also write a uh, getter for that. So public int get age, return age. So now that we've gotten that, if we go over here and we write system.out.println corgi.get age, we should get 
10 because that's what we set the age to in that constructor. But then if we write system dot out dot print line corgi dot set age, let's set it to 50. We just grew really old really fast and then we write, oh whoops, <laughs> I don't know, my bad, didn't mean to write that. We meant corgi dot set age 50 over here as its own thing and then we write corgi dot get age again. Now what we should get when we print this, or sorry, when we execute this, we should get yip 1050. That's what it's going to write, because it's going to change the age between here and there. And you can see here, this is basically, this should help you understand the way that arguments work. It's basically over here, we have something between these parentheses and it's an integer. If we go to that method, set age int dog age, that sort of tells you what you can put in here. You can put an integer in here. And then it, sort of, it also tells you what it's going to do with that integer. It's going to set the age equal to that. So let's give this a shot. We go to terminal. We're going to compile our two files. And then we're going to run dog driver. Yep, 1050. And there you have it. That's basically the basics of Java programming. It's about as simple as that. Um, if I choose to do another one, I'll be getting more into inheritance and um, how you can extend classes and implement interfaces and all that jazz. It's pretty fun. But this is essentially the basics of it. Being able to create an object with properties and being able to set those properties, being able to change those properties, giving the dog the ability, or sorry, giving your object the ability to do something. And the easiest way to think about what we did here today is just with a blueprint metaphor. It's about as, that's a, probably the best metaphor I can probably ever think of because that's all it really is. This is a blueprint for a dog and every blueprint has a list of materials or like a recipe. A recipe has a list of materials. And then it also tells you how to put those things together. Now, if you say it's like a blueprint for a transformer, you know, you have transformers can do things and those are represented by methods over here. Object-oriented programming, Java. It's fun stuff.